Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and I'm Lady Legend. In today's video, we're gonna have a look at the new Zarza 22 AR. Here it is right here. Looks pretty schmexy, right? This weapon comes in the Modern Rifles weapon pack that comes out on February 22nd on all three platforms, which is very, very soon, guys. Very exciting. We're gonna be comparing this new 22 to the Virant 22 LR. We're gonna compare the two. Now, if you do enjoy today's video, guys, or learn anything at all, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing. Smash that like button. It is super amazing for the algorithm, and I really do appreciate it. So thanks, guys, for that, and we're gonna head right into it. I know we are hunting geese again. They are fixed now, and that is just such amazing news. Let me show you where I have my goose set up. Now, a lot of people ask me this, guys. Geese do not have need zones. You never have to worry about hunting pressure when you are hunting geese. You can blow as many away as you possibly can, and the hunting pressure is not going to affect anything. They are the only species in the game with no need zones. So I only have one set up right now. I really should set up somewhere else. But you know what? This spot is working for me. So to hunt geese, guys, I am using the Short Read Canada Goose Collar, which is a free DLC. Now, in order to hunt geese, guys, you do need the Wild Goose Chase DLC, which includes the Strecker 20 gauge shotgun, the goose decoys, and layout blinds. You do need the DLC in order to hunt geese. So generally when I am hunting geese, guys, I turn it to as early as possible. So I usually set the time to about 5.30, 6 a.m. And then I head out and I sit in my tripod and I put out a few calls. Often they will come in without calling. They just need to connect with the decoys, but it can't hurt. Okay, guys, I have been waiting about two minutes and we do have our first flock of geese. So the first thing I like to do is spot every single one of them to make sure there isn't a level four diamond potential goose or a level five. In order to tell if a level four is diamond potential, it has to have a trophy estimate that goes up to eight. So nothing special there. Lots of money coming in. So that is not a diamond potential goose. He is a six to seven, but so far he is the biggest one. Holy, we got a lot of geese. Oh my goodness. All right, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna try without the scope. I am gonna wait for them to land. It is best to wait for them to land. Oh, there they go. All right. Got him. And got him. So I only have five shots. I really do prefer 10, but that's the way it is. All right, so let's pop the scope on. You really don't want to unload this weapon because you have to reload it so quickly. Oh, beautiful. And the rest of them are gone. All right, so that was the Zarza 22 AR. So far, my only complaint with it is that it only has five shots, and that is something that might change down the road. Let me know what you think of this weapon when you get a chance to use it, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. I would love to hear your opinions. And we have more geese immediately. That is absolutely sweet. Okay, guys, so now we have the Virant 22 LR. Now the big difference right out of the gate is that it does have 10 shots. Both of them zero in at 50, 100, and 150 meters. Now generally when I am goose hunting, I do use the shotgun until I can no longer use it until they're out of range. And then I will pull for the 22. But since we're showcasing both of these, we're not gonna worry about the shotgun right now. All right, here we go. So they're both quiet. He dead. And just the fact that I have 10 shots and I don't have to reload makes a world of difference. It really does. All right, now we have to reload. So as they get further and further away, you do want to change your zeroing to 150 meters. And the nice thing about the 22 LR, the Virant I mean, is that you can absolutely unload it, but you really don't want to do that with the Zarza because you are going to run out of shots really, really quickly. Now, I don't think I would probably hunt geese with the Kalman. The Kalman is rated for class one and two species, but I really don't think it is meant for geese. It is more meant for things like gray fox and raccoons. 37 meters, and that is with the Virant 22. It is the same ammo, and there's a brown hybrid. Okay guys, we are gonna compare now the Zarza 22 LR to the Virant 22 in stats. So with the Zarza, the accuracy is 100, same with the Virant. Then with recoil, we have eight compared to 10, a little bit more recoil on the Virant, 
then reload speed of 59, whereas with the Byron it is 49. So I believe that means the Zarza here does reload a little bit faster and then hip shot of 86 compared to 86, so they are exactly the same. So they are very, very similar in stats, but having 10 shots is really the deciding factor here, guys. I really do prefer the Virant 22 over the 22 AR, but if it does get an increase to 10 shots, I definitely, hands down, would choose the 22 AR over the Virant. We'll see if that happens down the road. Okay, guys, this is the craziest thing ever. So I was out on my tripod, I wasn't even hunting geese. I was having a look at them and what I was really doing is trying to take some photos from thumbnails. So have a look what happens here. So you can hear in the background, I had a stream running and if you're wondering who that is, that is Antagonize from Twitch. And I do really highly recommend that you guys go and give him a follow. He is absolutely fantastic. What a great streamer, but he is 18 plus, so not for the kiddies. So as you can see, I just went into the settings and turned my HUD off and all of the ground markers so that I can have nice clear photos for thumbnails. So I was just taking some photos, wasn't hunting, and I noticed there was a level four diamond potential goose. So I decided, well, might as well shoot it just in case it's a diamond. So there he is, there's the four. I didn't notice that it was a different fur color. I just noticed that it was a four and that it could make diamond because the trophy goes up to eight. So there he is. So this is one of my very first times using the 22 AR. It's just crazy. I can't even believe this happened. So I actually wasn't even recording at the time. I recorded backwards. Listen to my reaction. So this is oh a deer boot. Oh my god, I just got a diamond brown You're guaranteed. hybrid. You see all these items I'm scrolling through? I just got a through? diamond hybrid. This one that's highlighted called backwards. deer bleat. Holy crow. What does it do? This deer collar generates an authentic bleat of a doe. Off. So as soon as I realized I jumped out and turned the stream off. So guys, that is a diamond brown hybrid goose. Holy moly. And the new diamond, that's amazing. Oh my goodness. I knew it was different and I knew it was diamond potential. That is insane. That is so great. I can't believe that just happened. There they are. Two. Three, two, oh, let's see. Oh, five medium! Yes! Five medium! Where is he? I'm freaking out. Five medium, baby! He dead! Yes! Yes! Five medium down! He dead! He did. That's not a goose. He did. <laughs> this is way too much fun. I think I need more ammo. This is way too much fun. Way too much fun. Nope. Okay, that's okay. Let's go get our five. <laughs> I can't believe it. What is happening? Thank you, dear killer. I'm doing all right, aren't I? I'm doing all right. You imagine a diamond flewing over? That's awesome. That's not him. Is this him? Ah, uh, this is a brown hybrid. Oh my goodness, diamond brown hybrid. <laughs> okay. What is happening? Ah, uh, that's a sweet find. That is crazy. Guys, this is my second diamond brown hybrid. I shot another one. I shot a level four brown hybrid goose with the same on the beta the other day. Dime time, you got it. That's insane. I am not on multiplayer, I'm on the beta. I can't be on multiplayer. I'm on my own map. Thank you, thank you, Jaden. Okay, guys, these are our two, not one, but two diamond brown hybrid geese. Now, when I shot the first one, guys, I really thought I'd hit the jackpot, but now that I've shot two, I am wondering if brown hybrid geese just might be over spawning, but still a pretty crazy find twice over. That's pretty nuts. And one day after the other. 
One was a level four, one was a level five. So I would imagine that the smaller one would be the four without looking and that would be the five, but that is pretty crazy. And even though brown hybrid aren't rare, they are uncommon. That is a pretty sweet diamond. And we do have two of them. So that is pretty crazy. I have been having so much fun hunting geese. Guys, it is so great that they're gonna be fixed as of Tuesday and I really hope you have an amazing time hunting them. They're so amazing for cash and they are so much fun to hunt. But that is gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. I really hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, if you guys wouldn't mind hitting that like button, that would be absolutely sweet. I do appreciate it, guys. And we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.